What is this? A letter from 1945. Something like a diary from 1934. Oh, this look. This looks interesting. It's seems to be very old. Portugal, Palermo, okay, this is for my mother, it's a, a diary, uh, Sunday 18th of October 1942. More of that. That's also a diary of my mother. 16th of March, 1944. And here. Also, that's from 5th of July, 1936. It's in an old German handwriting. I'm not really able to understand what's there. I will have to learn that. First, it seemed quite impossible for me to understand the diary because the old German handwriting uh, I never learned. But uh, after some time, I learned it to understand it. And after all, I was able to translate almost every part of the diary. Some contents of the diary. 2nd of March, 38. Heidi Notwang is 16 years old when she writes the following. Apparently, she feels that the war is likely to come soon. I was in church with mother. Dr. Boom preached. Afterwards, I went to the schoolhouse where the BDM and the HG were singing. I heard many fresh boys and girls' voices. That made me cry. I could not go on. I walked along the cemetery. It was all night. There I saw two they were kissing. Oh life, oh world. 13th of March, 38. Here, Heidi Notwang reflects that Austria had become a part of Germany. Friday, yesterday and today were great world historical days. Days full of the most blessed jubilation. Our Führer has accomplished it. Austria has returned to its brother nation, Germany. Germany and German Austria. The border stakes have been turned out. Everything is cheering for our Führer Adolf Hitler. I am happier and more joyful too than I have been for a long time. One is involuntarily carried away by such jubilation. France is rushing tremendously. Mainly the Strasbourg radio station, the Scheusal. They nevertheless first should create in their own state peace and order that it does not happen any longer, like in a pig stall. They twist everything that they hear. But what harm does it to us, despite hell and devil? Our leader has made it and there is no turning back, thank God. 
Heidi Notwang had been to Nazi youth event in Munich. Ha, Munich is a wonderful city. Last time I was there, I didn't like it very much, but this time I'm really excited, really excited. Kete, our gymnastics teacher, was also with us in Munich. She is quite nice and I'm not ashamed to have once had a crush on her. Heidi Notwang reflects the Munich agreement and hopes that there will be no war. Her 15 years older brother Siegfried had left Germany because he was anti-Nazi and homosexual. By the way, my Germany, my great fatherland, my great leader, how happy I am to be a German. And my brother, my only brother is English and would have had to fight against us if things had gone as was actually foreseen. Terrible. But now Munich peace. 29th of October 38. Parts of peace pays. We live in a great time. You could say it in an interesting time or in a terrible time or in a glorious time. All are true. Precisely because the war today would have incalculable consequences. We are all the safer from it. Reason rules at least with the Western powers. In the East, yes, their terror raises Russia, an uncanny country for me, uncanny because so far barren, unknown. Toro lives there, but with us there is trust. And whoever does not have it is not worth being a German. Leader commanded, we follow. It took me quite some time to learn to understand the handwriting. But after all, I got it and I published it in Amazon, so you can buy it in Amazon as a Kindle edition or as a printed book. Here you can see me with the first packet of printed books.